Well, hello everyone, I'm Jenny from bu for You Gaming, and today we are gonna kick off a new series of Hammer Helm, which is an adventure game slash dwarven colony simulator by Super 6 Studios, aka Jonathan Hanna. So, I did play a little bit of this over a year ago, uh, but I have been keeping tabs on the game ever since. And I must say, it's one of those early access games where you do not have to wait months to hear something from the developer. No, in this case, you're going to hear something every week. If either you're going to get some bug fixes or new features, or you're going to get some updates on what Jonathan is currently working on. He's doing a really, really good job at keeping the, his players in the loop on what is going on with the game. And if you have any questions about the game or just want to discuss the gameplay or something with Jonathan or a fellow Hammerhelm players, I do suggest that you join the Discord, which I'm going to have a link for in the description below. So anyway, let's try and jump into this. First of all, let's take a quick look. There's some graphic uh, settings, controls, audio. If you want to adjust your keybinds, you have to do it once you're in the actual game. Graphically, the game can be a little demanding to run for a system like mine. So I have turned off the shadows, lowered the grass and uh, camera draw distance, and I have lowered the these tree, the tree quality a little bit. Uh, you can have it on max settings where you get new trees, all types, all colors animated, uh, which is the best quality trees, but it's also the hardest on your performance. Or you can go all the way down where you only have one tree, type of tree and only in green and it's not animated. I'm going to go and try and go for the middle here where you do have uh, three different colors, but only one type of tree, but they are still animated. If you need to compare your specs with mine, then you can always find my specs in the description below if you want to have a little bit of an idea of how the game might run for you. So anyway, let's just uh, get started here. So there are a few helpful tips here that you can read. And then we are just gonna jump into this. So let's see, new character, nice. Okay, so we can play as a female or a male. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna go for the female, but of course for the male, you can also adjust things like your beard style and color. Uh, so you have a nice variety here. You can change the different colors like this. Uh, but I am gonna go be going for a female. And let's see, we have different skin colors. There's a nice variety here, I think. I like... Let's go for this one, kind of have a nice tan. There we go, and then you can change your tunic color. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for the blue one, I really like that color. So, then we have the hairstyles here, there's a few different ones to choose from. And if I remember correctly, this one, this one, this one, and this one are the early access hairstyles, which mean it, they will only be available to anyone who buys the game during early access. Yeah, I think they look really, really cool. I really like this one. Yeah, well, I like all of them, but <laughs> I really like that one. I think it looks really cool. I think that's the one we are going to go for. Uh, currently, we won't get to see much of it, though, because you only see, the, see your character from the back. Uh, as it's third person. And uh, But I do know that Jonathan has talked about uh, adding... Uh, some options so that at least you can take maybe take some screensho screenshots or something uh, take some selfies where you can actually see your character from the front but anyway we are gonna go for this one and then you can of course change your hair color so let's see how many options we have so we have what two three like five options i am just gonna go for the redhead here and uh, that is it did i not have to change my name oh there we go that's my name ah there we go awesome and let's jump into the game okay so a new home banished from your homeland for the rebellious act of suggesting dwarves could live above ground you have spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands to start your life in the open air you have finally found such a spot far enough away from the stronghold as to not anger your old clan but close enough that your success will attract others who like you are tired of living underground as you build the town they will happily come seek you out and live in their new home 
They are not the only ones watching, however. As your town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and orcs. They have already begun building small encampments to prepare to attack the first dwarves who aren't protected by the underground fortress. Ew, okay, so we're definitely gonna be having to uh, defend ourselves. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna press P, of course, and then there's a little bit of information about the building here. Let's close that down, and then, if I remember correctly, we needed a storehouse. It probably said on the screen before, but I don't think you can put anything else down. Let's see if we say house. Yeah, you must build a storehouse before building this structure. Which makes sense. This is how you store all your resources and items, and we can have three of them. And this is kind of the size of the town. You can see it goes all the way over here. Okay, so if you can have three of these, it would probably be handy to spread them around town a little bit. Uh, let's see, how do we want to do this uh, set and see to place these? I think I want it facing town uh, because that's, you know, then they'll be kind of coming and putting stuff here or coming to taking take stuff. Um, can I move them again afterwards? Let's see. Oh, it does say left alt plus right click to pick up and move a building or upgrade a wooden house. So I assume we can move it once it's built. Um, which is kind of handy because I would like it to be a little bit away from the edge. But have room to, for instance, put some farms or something behind it maybe. I don't know. Um, you know what, for now I think we're just gonna put you uh, right there. And while we are at it, let's get some housing in here. There's all kinds of stuff we can do. Stone champions, home, metal worker shop, farm, hunter hut, tailor shop, herbalist, cookhouse, brewery, and yes, a bunch of stuff. You can see I didn't even go down that far. There's all kinds of things we can do. Um, the wooden house allows two citizens to live in basic comfort. Houses are furnished by carpenters. Okay, then we have a stone house allows two citizens to live in greater comfort. But then we would need the stonemason shop. So we're gonna, just going to start with a wooden house so that we have something for our first few people. And I think we're going to put you about there. Let's try that. And oh boy, I have to name the town. Um, I'm, I'm terrible at coming up with names. But I think we are going to go with something like lights. Oh, yep. Okay, because that's kind of what we're here for, right? Because we're tired of living underneath uh, the ground where it's all dark and cold and dull. <laughs> uh, so we need to pick some people here. Uh, messy and fast, slow, meticulous, weak and clumsy. That's not really the best stats or trade side. Okay, so Aaron is always getting dirty and needing new clothes. Hmm. Walks and runs faster than most dwarves. That could be handy for someone who's getting resources, I get. I guess. Then we have Mara walks and runs slower than most dwarves. But she loves to craft and sometimes makes masterwork items. Ooh, that I think could be handy for a crafter. So let's get her. Then we have Giselle, weak and clumsy. She cannot carry a lot of resources and sometimes crafts lower than average quality items. I don't really think she's very handy. I think we're gonna go with these two. Uh, because she doesn't really have anything good, right? She can't, can't carry much and she crafts worse items. So nothing good about you. You can at least wa walk and run faster. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I think we just close this to actually, yes, look at that. Oh, we got some skill XP, awesome. Okay, so they are busy building here. Look at that. Very nice. And if you want to take screenshots, you can press Control Alt U. Yes, that still works. Awesome. And we can actually adjust our look a little bit here. So if we do something like that. Okay, one building got finished. So then we just press F12. Let's get the UI back again. And let's see, who do we need to talk to? Mara or Mara or however you would say it. Uh, there we go. So hello, Yanni. Is there something I can help you with? About. My name is Mara. I am a worker. I can gather wood or stone. Well, she's the one who can craft stuff. But anyway, for now, I just want her to get some stuff. So she's been gonna get some wood. Um, then 
quest. Hello Yanni, this is the perfect spot to build our town, but I saw some goblins to the east. I think they followed us here and they didn't look friendly. Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna have to go and deal with them. Let's say goodbye and then let's just quickly talk to Aram here. Uh, it's the same, he's a worker, he can gather wood or stone. So I'm gonna set him to get stone. I could have set her to it, but yeah. Um, so now he should be getting some stone for us. Aha! So see, he's just gonna run off and then he's gonna start and start chopping down this stuff. There we go, okay. It's almost getting dark. I think we're gonna head out in the morning and try and deal with these goblins, but before we... Um, kind of sleep for the night we don't need to sleep uh, if i remember correctly but uh, we're just gonna pretend that we are so we have to we can go in here and we do have a storage in the bottom actually that is a bunch of stuff but there's also this one um and i think this is all like the raw resources so you can see how much wood we have how much stone uh, i'm not quite sure what these are what are they oh it's leather okay we have some mushrooms, and then there's a bunch of other stuff we can put in here. It doesn't look like we can scroll or switch page or anything. Uh, but there's also all this stuff, so we can see how much gold we have, cooked food, raw veggies, raw meat, handles, tools, weapons, beer. Ooh, that's very important for dwarves. Uh, we have some clothing, uh, coal, cotton, and then there's a whole bunch. Okay, that's all this stuff, actually. Well, the wheat is not here. I think this is all the stuff that I can find in the world myself. I think so. This is the stuff that I can find and I can even pull it out or put it back in here. Whereas all this other stuff is something that my dwarves are gonna be, um, or my fellow dwarves are gonna be crafting. So they will just put it in here. There we go, yes. Okay, so you have to go over to this one when you want to open it. You have to go over to the pile of wood. And then we have a little house here, so let's take a look in here. And as you can see right now, there's just this little outline. Uh, because as it said, the carpenter has to furnish the houses. So I assume we have to build a, a carpenter and then all of this stuff will gradually get filled out as we build some beds and tables and stuff like that. So, in the morning we are gonna go out on adventure, guys. So technically we don't have to wait until morning, it's just I like going out when it's light and it's not so dark. Uh, but I thought maybe we should take a little look and see what we can actually do. I think the stone champions, yeah, that's a place for me to live. Place a bit inside to regain hit points. Oh nice, okay, but we need a metal worker shop for that. Um, allows the production of copper items, basic potions and tools. We could technically do this, but I'm not quite sure what the priority would be. That would use up all our money. What else can we do? Is that the only thing we can... Oh, no, no. We can build sewers, keep the town clean. Oh, that's cool. Uh, then there's a whole bunch of other stuff, which I don't really think is what we need to focus on right now. Um, I think we want to kind of just try and follow the quests a little bit. Uh, and see how that works. I think that's gonna give us some money. I think farms would be kind of important because we need some food um, There's a hunter's hut so they can go and get some raw meat and leather We can get clothing. We do have 20 pieces of clothing. So hopefully we'll be good for that for a while Where's the carpenter? That's the one I was wondering about. Builds furniture for townspeople homes Reduces cost for houses if town also has a stonemason. Increases the amount of handles and tools. Oh, okay. Well, I think... Oh. Yeah, it's almost morning. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's see. If we look at the little minimap up in the top, there, there are two icons. I think one of them sh is for this. Maybe. Yeah, you can see now it moves around again. The one with the hammer, I think that just... That's just a town, pretty much. Um, or the storehouse, I'm not quite sure. But it looks like it's the storehouse, right? So if we go behind it, it is gonna be, yeah, moving around. It's the storehouse, for sure. Whereas the other one is our quest marker. So you can see there's a little campfire over there. And oh boy, look at that. Now the sun is coming up. Wow. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Wow, look at that. Okay, we are just gonna quickly do this and get ourselves a little screenshot here 
Nice. Oh, I love enjoying, oh, just enjoying these things. Look at the lighting and the sky. It's just gorgeous. I love the little fog, like there's that fog underneath the trees in the distance. That is so cool. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's put that back again and let's go and see. I have no idea how to deal with these guys. How do I actually, like, combat them? Oh, there we go. I was hoping there would be a little hop um, pop up because this has been updated a lot since I played, so I don't really know how the combat works now. Uh, press tab to target a nearby monster, right button is to block, left click to attack, and I can tell... <laughs> how do I... Oh, press I to open your inventory and equip weapons, we can dodge, which I'm terrible at, I'm so gonna fail at the combat, I always do, I'm really bad at that. Uh, okay, so ooh, I can right click, and let's get the shield too, then we have a weak heal potion, and a weak stamina. Place a numbered slot in hotbar at the top. Oh, okay. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. So, seven is heal, eight is stamina. What is this? Then we have all kinds of skills. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but that's okay. We'll probably get some skill points from this. Okay, so now you guys can just watch me fail at this. So, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, sorry guys, I had to sneeze there. Okay, let's see, can I? Okay, if I block, is he gonna... There we go, he hit my shield. Aha! Okay, let's try and deal with this. Oh, guy. Come on. Yes, okay, so we did do a little bit. Press G to open chest. Oh, nice, we got... 102 gold and we got some leather okay so let's just steal that nice okay that was not too bad hey we do did one of them so now we have to find the other ones oh i see one way over there but that's like oh i think there's three enemies oh this is gonna go so bad wow okay let's check how much do i these actually give um Let's see, 55 heal points. I'm just wondering if it's worth it. I think we're gonna try and wait a little bit. Um, and it might actually be better if I put them over here for now. I don't know how much we're gonna need up here, so let's do that. It's easier for me to reach one and two rather than seven and eight. Um, okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's only two of them. Nice. Okay. Fighting multiple monsters at the same time can be tricky. Use the kick special attack to knock one of them down. Okay, so that's F. Knocks monster down. Use the stamina has cooldown between uses. All special attacks use the same cooldown. The cooldown gem next to your health will turn green when you can use a special attack. Next to him. Oh, that's this one. Ah. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so the red, the one with the red bar is probably ha the hardest one to get down. So let's take him for sh kind of shortly. And oh man, I couldn't even hit that guy. Okay, well, I hit the other one. Why is he blue now? I don't know what his colors mean. Maybe I should have read it a little bit better. But here we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And. I've already forgotten how to dodge, but so far we're doing okay. Uh, there we go, and do this. Okay, so far we're doing pretty well with this. They haven't really... Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, he hit me. Now we have to get the other one. So, let's just try this again. <laughs> and then we can hit him while he's down. Okay, is he gonna hit me? They don't hit you much. I don't know if it's because it's very early in the game or something, but they mostly just stand there. <laughs> Which I don't really mind. Okay, there we go. Now we have 20 leather. Awesome. And then the campfire kind of just disappears because we have cleared it out. Um, okay, so we should have one more, which apparently is over here. Yeah, I see the fire. 
Oh, I think there's a mushroom here. Maybe we can gather that. Can I gather this? Something? Oh. Uh, no. Okay, I thought maybe we could pick it up, but it doesn't look like it. Not currently, anyway. Hmm. Okay, spellcasters have the ability to cast various attack and def uh, defense spells. Spellcasters will charge up the spell before casting it. These spells cannot be blocked. You must roll or move away to avoid a spell. Spellcasters are not affected by status effect attacks such as knockdowns and stuns, so it doesn't help kicking them, I guess? Oh, dodge left and right. Oh, man. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, that takes my stamina, but it's not sh that much stamina, so it should be okay. Which one? Okay, I guess the spellcaster is the one on the left. I might want to deal with him first. So if we kick you, and then... Oh, what's up with my... Oh, come on. What's up with my... Okay, yes, I forgot. Uh, it's because it locks you. Oh, I'm not sure I like that. I have to press escape to kind of... Oh, there we go. Um... Let's press 1 to drink something. Oh boy, then we just stand there. That's not good. <laughs> okay, let's deal with you. And then let's get out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I like the locking thing. That it locks you onto a target. I'm not a big fan of that. I must say, oh crap, I should have moved. <laughs> like I said, I'm really, really bad at this. There we go. Okay. It's actually not so hard to... Avoid them if you just concentrate. Nice. Not at this stage anyway. I'm sure it's going to get harder. Okay, so we have 30 leather now. We gained a skill point. Press I to open the skill UI and spend it on a new skill. Oh, something in the storehouse is taking things without permission. Investigate it. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. We have tough skin. Reduces the damage from physical attacks. Recharge your power attack. After killing a monster using a power attack, uh, reduce the damage from spell attacks. That would probably be handy. When reduced to zero hit points, a chance to avoid death. Oh, that would definitely be a good one. When blocking an attack, a chance to deal damage back. A chance to find more loot from treasure chests. A chance to find more gold from treasure chests. Reduces the cooldown time for power attacks. And increase the damage from a dash attack. I'm kind of thinking I want this one first. There we go. Let's do that. Quest complete. Nice. So, let's head back to town and, and see. But it looks like you can... You don't use stamina when you run. I can actually run without using stamina, which is kind of nice. Um, let's just take a little... Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, you can see the achievements in here too. And of course, in here is where you could reset your or change your keybinds if you want. Um, <laughs> doesn't look like there's any way where you can see like the pop-up again that we had about the combat. I would have to re-watch the video, but I kind of would like to be able to turn off that locking mechanism. And I can't remember if it said anything about that, uh, that you were able to do that, but it would be nice. You guys are just standing there. Not even collecting any goodies for us. <laughs> mm. Okay, hello. We have like rats in the storehouse. Oh, craggy. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, let's kick you and let's try and. Okay, yeah, of course. Now we are stuck on him again. Oh, come on. Hey, you're not moving. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Let's just wait until he's done doing that thing. Because I don't know. Is that gonna hurt me? Okay, let's drink one of these while we're waiting. Mm. Okay, is that gonna hurt me? Oh, it does. Can I reach you without it hurting me? Can. Okay. Be good. Not quite sure what he's doing. Uh, but... There we go, we got him. Nice. So, nothing in the chest, but we did get some gold. But not no items in the chest, that is. Okay, so let's go over here. And then we are gonna move all this leather into here. Mm, 
and place another house in a metal worker shop and wait for them to be constructed. There we go. I can't remember if I can... Well, I guess I can use these for the building because I didn't have wood and stone for me, on me before, so that should be fine. Um, well, build another house and a metal worker shop. Okay, we are going to do that. Mm, metal worker... Ah, it's because we're going to get another person, I think. But let's see. Metal worker, where are you? Uh, down. Oh, am I just blind? Uh, storehouse. Okay, let's go to this one. There we go. Metal worker shop. Yes. So, 25 and 200 gold. You must build oh okay so i have the house need to get the house first <laughs> there we go let's get another wooden house and then i'm thinking it might be handy to have the metal worker shop close to this so they can kind of access things right um let's put this do, 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 do. put it there for now and now, oh, so every house means that we can get two new people. Aha! Low hard worker, strong, hungry, and clumsy and messy. Mmm, yeah, we don't want you. You craft lower quality items, and you're always getting dirty and needing new clothes. Um, though I'm strong and can carry more resources, he, but he also eats more food. Well, that's we can deal with. Times walks and runs slower than most dwarves, but he gathers resources faster. Uh, well, I don't see anything positive at all about her, so we're going to leave her, and then we're going to take these two. Uh, there we go. So now we have a house, then we're going to get the metal worker shop. Right there, craft, yep, and let's uh, turn you around. I think they finished building the house, that was the sound we just heard. Mm. That's for now, we're going to put you right there. And just like that. Okay, so we got a second house. We have more people now. Um, I'm thinking Mara is actually... I'm going to want to change her into something else. But I think we have to finish the metal worker shop. Also to finish that stage of the quest. Mm -hmm. Okay, structure complete in metal worker shop. Okay. Press V to open the town menu and assign a metal worker. Okay, I'm still gonna forget how to do that, but otherwise we can always check in the, the uh, key behind, right? So we need a metal worker, Mara. She's the one who can sometimes make master work items, so I think she's the one we would want. Uh. Oh. Okay, how, oh, there we go, assign, yes, left click dwarf to assign job. There we go, she's gonna be a metal worker. And you are collecting stone, you're collecting stone, you're collecting wood. Mm, I think I want some two to be collecting wood, actually. So now she's a metal worker, what are you collecting? Uh, you, I'm gonna set you to job, chop some trees. Okay. Hello, Yanni. I can craft weapons and armor for you. I also know how to brew some potions. Oh, nice. Bye bye, Tim. Thanks for building this shop. I can craft better items for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Ooh. Okay. So they are now marked on the map. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Looks like the sun is coming up, so that is nice. Let's try and see if we can find those. Yeah, eventually we're gonna open up this mine here. I do remember that. Mm. Okay, here we go. How do I exit like combat mode? I don't know. I guess we are just constantly in combat mode, maybe. Aha, because we can use this to actually chop this down. 10 cover ore. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, wow. I do love the lighting and our little town here. Let's just take a little peek here at how it is looking now. 
Look at that. We are slowly growing, guys. Yes, we are. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I love taking screenshots. Okay, so. Oh, there's a building over there in the back. Oh, boy. We are probably going to have to deal with that at some point. But for right now, let's just try and... I feel like I saw one over there, though. Okay, well. Oh, my. Let's just follow these little quest markers. And get this. Oh, look at that. There's ruins over there, too. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to go and explore. Let's get the last one here. But we might also run into trouble, right? So it's probably a good idea to try to improve. So craft a new item at the metal worker shop. Can I not pick these up? No? Nope. Okay. Hmm, what is this over here? What about this one? No, still on a log. Um, hmm. Do, do, do. There we go. Go oh, craft. It just said a new item, didn't it? It didn't really specify. Craft a new item. Okay, yes. Do craft. I think we want to make some copper ingots. Hmm. We could make a copper hammer. Copper hammer power attack does some damage and chance to stun nearby monsters. That would be kind of neat. We can do a copper axe. Does damage to all nearby monsters. Oh. Um. We can do a copper sword. Does massive damage to your target. Oh. We could also make a helmet. Adds 15 hit points. Oh. Let's make a helmet. How many did we need? Uh, six. How many can we make? That's the question. <laughs> oh, okay, we have 19, so it's kind of a choice. Okay, maybe we should make a weapon. There we go. I think we're gonna make a weapon, and... Oh, I have to bring this to her. I can't just use the ones in the town. Uh, okay, so let's go in here. And over here, we're going to pull out 10 of these, just like that. And the craft. Okay, so this is what we have. We are going to make, what are we going to make? Hmm, I don't like the idea of a sword, but on the other hand, it's kind of, this is handy. Because we're often going to be fighting more than one mob, right? Probably. So let's craft one of these. There we go, copper eggs, and I got some skill XP. Okay, nice. Let's see if I go in. Oh, oh, can I not go in my inventory when I'm in town? Oh, there we go. Now I can. Yes. So, uh, what's the difference? Let's see. This one does 25. This does oh 38. Yes. Okay, we're definitely gonna use that. Upgrading your weapon has unlocked a power attack, special attack. So that's ah. Uh, Use when near a monster, cause stamina has cooled down. Different weapons have different power attacks. Hammers deal moderate damage to all nearby monsters and have a chance to stun them. Axes deal heavy damage to all nearby monsters and swords deal massive damage to your targeted monster. Ah, so it's not all the time they do whatever it's said uh, for them. It's only when you use power attack, but that's still really, really cool. Okay, so we got a new cobai X and we got a few buildings built. So next time we are going to look into opening up that mine. So thank you for watching and as always do take care and happy gaming.